Hey guys, Gavin here. Just wanted to do a little update about uh, the Bundy case today. Uh, very exciting times. The case against uh, Ammon and, and Ryan and Cliven and this whole batch here that the whole fiasco uh, has been going on with, with the leaked documents and all this, the case was dismissed with prejudice today. Now that means that the prosecutors cannot bring it again. It's done. It's over. They, they lost. But we also didn't win. And I think this is a really important thing, and I want to bring up a couple points. I, I Congratulations to the family. I mean, I'm so glad that Cliven and all these people are out with their family. Now, It it we still are looking at uh, some of the other guys, and they could bring this uh, back to trial again, because some of the guys that weren't in this trial, okay, some of the Bundys were in the upcoming trial that's coming next. Now, that should absolutely be dismissed, but it's still in flux as to what's going to happen of whether they will bring those guys to trial at all. The whole case is a sham. The, the prosecution was just appalling misconduct, but here's the thing. We'll see what happens going forward. The important thing is that, that all the Bundys are out with their families, that everybody from this current trial uh, is done, it's over, they can't bring them back again. But don't think that the federal government is going to give up either. When you look at what's happening here, what this is really a reminder of is that there's no law in our courts. They do whatever they want, whenever they want, to whomever they want, with impunity. And this is what we really have to understand and, and start standing up to. Understand that for a case like the Bundys, where thousands of people and many voices were supporting them, there were other federal cases all over the nation today where people were getting railroaded and locked away in prison without that support, without those leakers willing to put stuff out there. And I think there's a second really important message here. Number one, of course, is to understand that this doesn't make the courts good. It doesn't make the administration good. They lost this case because people defied the courts. Instead of saying, hey, let's just play along, do what they're told, follow the system and we'll come out on top, people said no. We're going to leak the sealed documents. We're going to expose what the BLM was actually doing at the Bundy Ranch, the crimes that they were committing. And when those came out, it was an uproar and it destroyed their case. Had had people complied with those illegal court orders, had they been silent, had they not leaked those documents, it would have been very different. And see, most cases, most people being railroaded in a federal or a state or even a local court don't have this benefit. The prosecutors make up the facts. They fabricate the narrative. This is what was happening to me in my county, and it's why I said, you know what? I'm not willing to comply with you anymore. I'm not willing to tolerate it. I'm not willing to consider that I should have to give you passwords to my phone. And I'm not even willing to hear your lies in the courtroom because I don't recognize your treason as law. When we f refuse to comply, everything changes. And there was, there was some good lawyers and, and there was some real fighters fighting for the Bundys uh, throughout this process. You know, people like, like Morgan and like Rick uh, and, and people for, for some of the other defendants as well. But lawyers aren't fixing this and courtroom battles aren't fixing this. What, what makes me happy is God got the glory on this today. He confounded these evil tyrants and made fools of them because they thought, they do, they act in lies and deceptions, and he aired their deeds done in darkness to the world. And so they lost the battle not because of legal filings and motions, even though those, those were important throughout the process. They lost the battle because they were confounded and exposed. And there's a message here of exposing those tyrants, of standing on our principles, of refusing to comply, of however however you think you should, right? Whether you're like me and you say, I'm walking away so I can maintain the voice and keep standing up for the prisoners and protect my family from these violent criminals. Or whether you're like Ammon and, and Cliven and Ryan, you're in, a, you're in a jail cell and you're refusing to comply with their absurd and abusive orders. However you stand, as long as we with principle resist, defy, and disobey the tyrant. If we do that in mass, if that message picks up, they lose their power. They only have power over us at the point of a gun. 
And when we refuse to be intimidated by that, their power is gone. So let's not forget all the other prisoners, the Jeff Winehouses and the Schaefer Cox, the Browns, Fisher of Men, Ross Albright. The list goes on and on and on and on. The prison system must be torn down. One victory isn't enough. Our justice system has to be replaced from the ground up before we can have freedom again. And justice is not locking a man in a cement cage after a kangaroo trial. That means every prisoner in the nation has been illegally convicted and illegally locked away. And we should assume their innocence. Peace, guys.